a simple Gypsy Jazz arpeggio system. My name is Robin Nolan and in this series of videos I'm answering your questions into playing Gypsy Jazz guitar and I've been getting tons of questions about arpeggios, which arpeggios to use, how to play arpeggios in Gypsy Jazz, arpeggios, arpeggios, arpeggios. So um, I just wanted to share a really simple system which kind of, if you're, if you're a beginner and you really want to kind of understand what the hell arpeggios are and how they're going to work for you, then, uh, then make sure you stay tuned. Um, an arpeggio, um, we're going to use this system, okay? We're going to use these numbers, one, three, five, seven, from each chord. So if we're going to play the chord of C major, then notes one, three, five, seven. And that would sound like this. It'd be one, three, five. So one is the root, C. Three is the third, E, E natural. Third of the scale, of the major scale, because it's C major. So one, three, which is the third. G, which is the fifth, one, three, five. And then seven in C major is this B natural. You get the major seven sound there. So if I'm just going to use this system over C major and um, it's going along in C major, then I would just be going like one, three, five, seven. Right? And you play those notes, and obviously, even without someone playing a chord, you can tell that it's C major. And that's the whole point. Because when you go, start to improvise or start to use this system through changes uh, in songs, then for each chord you're going to do the same. And uh, I'm going to give the example of All of Me, which I think is a good example because there's lots of shifts in the harmony and lots of uh, crunchy chords to get into. So the first chord, where well, you're going to use one, three, five, seven, it sounds like that. The second chord is E7, right, of All of Me. So one, three, five, seven. They're the notes E, G sharp, B, D. Yeah. So C, E seven, and you're going to do this through each of the chords. And this really makes sure that you, when you're improvising, you're not just kind of waffling or making it up. You're actually keeping solid to the changes. This is this kind of stuff which Bach or you know, serious composers uh, of, of, of years ago, whatever. Um, there's no deviation from the changes. And this is a great place to start with your improvisation. You know, this is like the, the backbone of the, each, of, each of the chords. So E7, then we've got A7. Uh, one, three, five, seven. And it's good to know it in different positions as well. You know, so one, three, five, seven. Then you're in D minor. D minor, you've got one, three, D, F, A, C. Yeah, so you see what I'm doing? Then I'm taking each chord, then we've got E7. One, three. Then to A minor. A, C, E. Then we've got D7. D, F sharp, A, C. This is really elementary, really rudimentary, but I tell you what, even if you're, you know, you're advanced or you, you can already kind of improvise and stuff, just knowing this stuff, I think can really help you out. So let's go from the top again through all of me and I'll play one, three, five, seven through each chord, uh, nice and slow and call out the chord to you as well. So, uh, so we got C major, so like one, C major, E7. A7, that's A7, D minor, 1, 3, 5, 7, E7, E7, now we're going to A minor, 1, 3, 5, 7, D7, same thing, D minor 7, G7, sorry, then we're at the second half of the tune, C, E7, A7, D minor. Then you've got F to F minor, so. 
in with the F and the F minor, I just went to one, three, five, eight instead of seven. And then we've got C, C major again. A7. D minor seven. G7. And then back home to C. So um, now I'll play it in time through the changes, okay? You can hear it. Um, here we go, okay? So if you've got your guitar, then pick it up. Two, a one, two, three, four. There's C major, E7, E7, A7, down to D minor, E7, A minor. D7, D minor 7, G7, C major, to E7, we've got A7, D minor, now we've got F, F minor, C, A7, D minor 7, G7, C. So if you learn that through all of me, just the basic skeletal kind of basic backbone of the changes, that's a great place to start and understand what arpeggios are and how they work with music. And um, so that was the example in all of me. Um, try it with lots of other songs, whatever songs you know. See if you can just do that one, three, five, seven pattern through the changes. And it's just a great place to start with arpeggios. So that's one, uh, one bit of advice and a really kind of beginners, if you like, introduction to arpeggios. And I think it can really help you out with uh, understanding that in gypsy jazz. So if you've got a question you'd like me to answer, anything at all about gypsy jazz guitar, then fire away. Questions at gypsyjazzsecrets.com. And don't forget to give me a like uh, on the video and I'll talk to you really soon. See you in the next video. Hey, it's Robin. Did you like that lesson? If you did, you can do three things right now to continue your journey into Gypsy Jazz. Number one, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel. And I hope you do because every week I can send you a new video answering your questions into Gypsy Jazz guitar playing. Number two, you can download your free issue of Gypsy Jazz Guitar Secrets magazine. And you can do that by clicking here or going to gypsyjazzsecrets.com. And number three, you can check out my Gypsy Jazz Transfusion Club, and you can do that by going here, clicking on the button, or go to gypsyjazztransfusionclub.com. So if you'd like to do any of that, just click on these buttons, and I look forward to seeing you in another video really soon.